Ben Owens from the team here at TaylorMade does a lot of the experiential work down here at the fitting studio, out there in our drum and golf stores, in, certainly in Victoria, we've seen him a lot. So there's no one that knows the uh, TP reserve range of uh, putters better than Ben. Ben, welcome to uh, Drum and Golf TV. Thank you, mate. Uh, can you take us through what makes this TP reserve family of uh, putters so special? You know, I can see the look, you know, we've got some classic blade, classic mallet shapes, but there's a fair bit going on in terms of the stainless steel, the milling process. What is so special about the TP Reserve family? Well, for us, it's obviously our first crack at something that's finely milled, finely tuned, um, and it's also the repeatability of the process as well. A lot of our heads in, in other categories are obviously cast heads, and there's obviously tolerances between those, so you're looking at something as premium as it gets from our point of view. Four blades in the lineup, and then obviously some mallets as well to keep it quite classic and, and cover all bases, but from our point of view, it just comes back to keeping it as artisan as we can and still being able to mass produce them um, and keep the tolerances nice and tight. So We're going to have a little bit of a roll of a couple of balls in this putting studio here. I'm expecting great things in terms of sound and feel. I think one of the things that's going to contribute to great sound and feel is this uh, milled grooves. Now you don't often see milled grooves on a putter. Is that a special feature of the, of the TP Reserve family? It's definitely a feature of the family. It's something we've done for quite some time. Uh, in this case, it's definitely acoustics based. Uh, there's still an element of uh, forward roll or top spin that we're really chasing when you're looking at a putter of this level. Um, and we, we've obviously pioneered the pure roll insert in some of our other lineups. So you'll see little throwbacks, little intricate details that will probably have crossed over for probably 15, 20 years. But in this case, it's definitely more an acoustics point of view. Uh, we don't want it to sound clicky and obviously sound and feel are, are in the same sentence for us. So it's definitely a focus on keeping it clean, softer feel off the face for some, depending on what golf ball you use. But from our point of view, it's making it feel as premium as we can. So that, uh, that'll stay. 303 grade stainless steel, which you know, as we've talked about with the irons, you know, they all have a different classification of steel. I think that refers to like the hardness. So 303 stainless steel in this putter head, milled all in the one piece. And that, that includes the, the various neck shapes that are available. So it's not welded on there, this neck, it's not welded. It's all part of the one billet of steel, which I can only imagine in the milling process is so intricate and so involved and probably takes so long. Um, hence, um, you know, to get this fine detail, you know, I can see the milling uh, detail on the top of the bumpers at the back here. We've got the sight line, you know, a beautiful top line here. It's not thick, it's not too thin. It sets up like you would expect a premium putter to set up. If you've been in golf shops all around the country, you know, you've seen all the premium putters, you've been in, check them out. Well, here's another one to check out and it looks as good as anything that I've seen. Uh, what is the lineup uh, that we've got, Ben? We've got the four blades and the four mallets. Let's have a look at those. Correct. So yeah, four blades, obviously you're looking at pretty traditional shapes. Uh, the plumber's neck, slant neck, uh, a flow neck, number nine. And then we've also got uh, a little throwback to the spider blade ghost, if, if people remember that model. And that, that head shape's appeared again, um, which, is, which is awesome. It's actually the heaviest blade in the lineup as well. Sometimes a one and a half, depending on who you talk to. But it's all about weight distribution. Um, obviously in that case, you've got a little bit more weight in the boot than you would have um, with some of the other blades up front. So this one here, just talking about while well, we've got in the hand and saying that it's heavier, I, I'm going to assume that this might be uh, for the player that likes that blade, traditional blade look, but needs a little bit more MOI, needs a little bit more forgiveness. So we've got more weight out back here, and as you said, in the, in the bumper, in the boot, a little bit heavier. So that mass is probably going to help keep the stroke a little bit more stable. Uh, you can see the, the, um, the weight tuning. So the different lengths have different weights in there. That really is designed to help that balance of the uh, putter feel consistent across the, the range. It looks fantastic. Yeah, um, very clean. And then we'll run into, obviously when you, when you run a blade and you only run a blade, there's always the golfer that's on the other side of the fence. So you'll, you'll generally find in this case, the Fang style across multiple brands, but it, particularly with us, has done quite well. If you think of some of our trust models and uh, the Bandon models of previous. Um, so we'll, we'll run that in an L neck and a uh, single bend. And then obviously we've got some classic shapes here, particularly if anyone remembers the old Fontana. A little bit of a throwback as well there. We will generally always have a dabble with the uh, with the half moon, half moon shape as well. That's always been quite popular for us over the journey, and I'm sure you've seen that in previous iterations as well. So you mentioned L neck and single bend, um, just offering again two different 
levels of suitability for different stroke types, different fields, different preferences. Many people have only ever putted with this L neck and they only ever want to putt with that. So now you can get that in not only a blade, but now in a, a mallet uh, style putter. And then we've got the slant neck here. Now, again, both in that same shape, but they offer different things. Now you can see here, this is very clearly a face balanced um, putter. So for that player that wants the straight back, straight through the ultimate stability in their um, stroke, well, they can get this shape in the slant neck, which gives you the face balancing. And then the L neck is going to give you just a little bit of toe hang. So again, suitability to your eye, suitability to your stroke, suitability to getting fit for your putter, which is really important, of course. Um, you can get that in a blade or the mallet if you like this L neck. So it really is... Um, I think with that one there, yeah. Roscoe, it actually allows the player that probably has played the blade yes. to meet us halfway yep. and give a little bit... Obviously, we have a bit more weight through the back, a bit more stability. For us, we really feel this is that halfway point between the spider with all the weight in the boot and the blade with all the way up front. So you'll see golfers on tour, DJs rocking that at the moment. So there are golfers that have dabbled on both sides of the fence. Mm -hmm. That gives you a good profiling in the L neck will obviously offset, looks a little bit different to the eye, but it's the most traditional neck shape that's been around for a long time. And then if you're not that, most of the time you're in the, in the, single, um, in the single bend territory or face balance. <laughs> I love this uh, deep etch lambkin grip. You know, when you become a club spotter watching the PGA Tour and, and so on and so forth, you, know, you start to take notice of really little details. What grips are they using? Especially if they don't stand out. And this is the, um, the deep etch grip there, which is standard fitment. It's that pistol shape. It fits beautifully in your hand. It's nice and flat on the front. But that deep etching grip, which um, you know, most of the best players in the world have used it at some point, is standard fitment on here. And it does feel awesome in your hand. Yep, the old paddle, these go really well for us. Obviously, there's, a, there's a, definitely a shift to super stroke on certain, in certain models in our lineup, but for, for where you are here, um, this will give you the truest feel. Um, and that's hence the reason why it's on there. It's uh, easily one of our most popular grips on tour if you aren't a super stroke guy. And here's the super stroke in the, uh, the spider, which is here in the putting studio, so you can just see. Um, but you do have the option there. Well, let's roll a couple, eh? Perfect, let's go. hear that uh, solid sound of impact, right? Correct, yeah. Ben, thanks very much for joining us down here today. Appreciate your input into the TP Reserve range. Appreciate all the things you do to help drummer golf be as best as they can and all of the retailers help customers get into this new TP range, get into the new MG4 range and the P790. Thanks for joining us, mate. No worries, thanks for having me.